Tavern Gamers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Tavern Gamers. Today we're going to be going over kind of a specific counter or discussion about the Lord Vader free-to-play counter that used to work before data crons have kind of ruined this game. I digress. Prior to this bullshit ass level 3 data cron, as you guys can see here, it's easy to get. Most decent Lord Vader squads will have this. And what makes this level 3 data cron so bullshit is for you, to, you know, for us free to play players, let's say using Fennec lead with scoundrels, where you could pretty reliably counter Lord Vader prior to this specific data cron, maybe a few others were kind of broken, but this one tops the cake in a sense. So where am I getting at with this? So if you're going against a Lord Vader in your Grand Arena folks, whatever, Squad Arena, no one gives a shit, but it's specifically Grand Arena and you want a better than 50% chance win ratio, using Fennec with the new Boba Fett variation can work, but I find that it's not reliable if they're using this Datacron plus they got Maul and Thrawn. Alright, so just going over real quick what the stats say. I don't know if it's going to show you if they have the data cron or not. So the numbers aren't exactly 100% accurate. Use it with the kind of a grain of salt there. So we're going to show you guys later on this counter. This is what I find works pretty decent. Uh, well, you can even sub out armor if your armor is being used somewhere else, which I, I get into. I'll show you another counter. This is the one I was uh, talking about. If we scroll down the numbers here, and we get to Fennec with Bubba Fett as the sub kind of falls off a plank so you know at best you're at 42 percent again this is against the what I call the lesser tier Vader it's got Thrawn but it doesn't have Maul so I find that the dirtiest ones have Maul and Thrawn and well you know if you go against one of those squads with the Fennec Bubba Fett with Mando yeah the just the win percentage just tanks and probably some of this is higher than it should be probably some of these matchups they didn't even have that uh, data cron so as you can see uh, just uh, it gets pretty low not super reliable but I'll show you guys some videos later on so stay tuned and at the very end we're gonna again show you guys uh, the counter that I'm using now to, to get through it so stay tuned yeah, so just showing you the the rest of the chart yeah the numbers get pretty shaky as you can see so tread carefully folks and hopefully you guys uh, learned something from this video. If they got both of this, Maul Thrawn and this Datacron, and you're trying to use Fennec with any variation of Fennec Boba Fett, which I'll show you guys coming up, it's not going to work reliably. Probably less than 50%, 10% if you're lucky. Like the RNG gods have to fucking bless your ass. Anyways, I digress. Here we go. So, I love Arnold, the great guy. He's going to show the counter using the Bubble Fett variation here. Right? Let's just go back for a sec. So, the Data Crown doesn't really matter. Whatever he's using, it helps obviously. But the key, instead of using Mando, he's got Bubble Fett. And the whole point of Bubble Fett is got the execute. You know, Vader gets all those stacking protection over time whatever when he throws all the debuffs on your team the dots and then Bubba Fett like one shots or like decimates him when he gets close to 100 stacks or as close to 100 stacks as possible Arnold I love the guy this video is great I'm not shitting on Arnold I love him he's great but Arnold showing a, a variant we'll call it the Lord Vader light version where he's using his opponent in both these videos are not using Thrawn and they don't have Maul. So this is kind of like a shit Lord Vader matchup. If you're going against this piece of shit squad, yeah, this uh, counter might work for you guys. And I'm not, I'm not saying it doesn't. So I want you guys to be aware of other scenarios where this is going to burn you, so don't use it. But let's just show you how it works, just for you, those, you know, those of you who haven't seen it before.
right? So you get your contract, whatever, you know. Eventually you're gonna go through, pick them off. He's, uh, Vader's gonna get his, right now he's at 30 protection stacks. Eventually he's gonna go high, and the higher he goes, the better for you to execute on Boba Fett, right? It's all good and gravy, guys, all good and gravy. Mando's gonna do his little assassinate, that's great. He's out of there one shot. So that's why you typically bring in Mando. Especially if they got like a Relic 9. Either way, whatever. So this is all easy shit, right? I'm just showing you guys for context. Now this video Arnold posted, I think it was two, three months ago, and I'll, I'll, there's a whole context to this. But I want to give you guys the facts. You're seeing it here on Tavern Gamers. We're just a small fry here. We're nothing big, but I want to show you guys, you know, two sides to the coin and uh, try it out. You know, feel free to write in the comments how it works for you. But I want to give you guys the full, full scope of things. All right, so Arnold's picking apart the team. Everything's going fine, more or less. Vader's got 80, 80 stacks of protection, so eventually Bubba Fett's execute's gonna be nasty. I think he kind of fucks it up here. I don't know if he wastes it. Yeah, I think he wastes it here. He doesn't, he doesn't need to do that. It's a bit of a fuck up. Arnold admits it, so I'm not hating on that. No worries. It's okay, he still, he still has it in the bag. So he's just stalling out until he gets more stacks. Armor shed, great. All great guys, all great. So that was another fuck up, he didn't need to do that because he cleared all the stacks, so that was the second fuck up. Not the point, but just want to give you guys context. All right, so Arnold's gonna eventually stall. He's not gonna fuck it up twice. He's just gonna let Vader get more stacks. See, 21's not enough. You gotta let Vader get... Okay, maybe a third fuck up there. Vader needs a lot of those stacks for you to one-shot him. It worked out for him, but anyways. If he's got like 50 plus stacks, 50 to 100, you know, preferably like 60, 70 plus, you can one-shot. And that's fine. Now let's go to another recent video from Arnold here. I can find it one sec guys all right here we go anyways guys here we go so his recent video from two days ago after his retort to my comment again he's showing the beat here Lord Vader he's got the data cron there's Maul there's no Thrawn so it's a it's a bit of an improvement So you get super lucky, again, they don't have Thrawn, so I don't think this is the A, a squad of Lord Vader. You need the RNG gods to get lucky often when you play this, and they got a really good maul and Thrawn. Your Fennec gets fucked, or your Boba Fett gets fucked. I can't promote this counter as reliable, folks. I can't do it. I'm going to say it's under 50%. So here we go. He's got 100 stacks on Lord Vader. Everything's fucking looking great for Arnold, and then boom. He's loving life, I'm happy for him. Amazing stuff. Context, people, context. So I commented on his old three month video. Again, no, no shade out Arnold, love the guy. I'm just putting my feedback, right? So that's my comment right here from his old video. I just said this really works if they ever have, or whenever they have Thrawn and Maul. Just my feedback, because this video didn't have Thrawn and Maul. And Arnold was graciously enough to reply, I use it all the time versus, versus that team. 
So, I don't know if he misread it or he uses that counter, the counter in the other video. But it just doesn't make sense to me. That it, you know, he uses it all the time and he make it, you know, he's making it sound great, personally. So, I don't know. So let's show you guys some some footage of how Arnold's supposed counter works all the time. Here we go. Alright, so we're going to try a few of the examples Arnold's shown. I haven't found one in my squad arena yet that has Thrawn and Maul, but we'll show you guys what one looks like with Maul, Vader, Piat, whatever. Uh, the fact that they got Maul brings it a step above and I think the best squad still has Maul and Thrawn. Not Relic 9, not 7 Vader, but he's got that bullshit Vader crown. Here you go. Nothing crazy here, just simple. So it's kind of in between. They got Maul, not Relic 7 or 8, you know, just a simple 5 Relic Maul. Nothing crazy. Alright, we're gonna show. My beloved Fennec counter that used to work consistently now it rarely works against these uh, specific variants. I don't have a shit Fennec, so just for you guys that want to see it, I'm going to show you my Fennec. We won't bring in Bosk. We'll do like Arnold. Even with Bosk variation, I don't really find that it makes a huge difference. All right, relic eight, eight, seven, five, five. Here are my mods for the for those of you guys that all want to see mods. This might take a while, so feel free to skip ahead. I'm not changing my mods up when I do this. These are the mods I've been using in all my testing. Alright, that's my Fennec. Here's my Boba Fett. Feel free to pause it at any point if you want to double check my mods. They're not the best, I don't want to sound like my mods are god tier, but they're above average. Get your ass in there, alright? Show the audience. So that's my Karga. And the good Mandalorian, here we go. So I'm just trying to keep my guys alive, let Fennec do her thing. That's kind of what used to work. All right, so let's roll this. And again, folks, I'm not saying Arnold's videos can't work. I'm just saying I wouldn't trust it. And I, I definitely wouldn't wager that it's gonna work more than half the time. Alright, this first example I'm going to show it as well without the data prawn or just adding anything on your end to boost your guys' Alright, so super lucky here. His maul is not relic 7 or 8. He didn't one shot my Fennec right off the bat, which usually happens or I feel like he one shots Fennec or cargo goes down or something stupid. 
Uh, this is probably not the best example to show you guys, but here we are. In the later fights, yeah, we're going to show you ones where I do use data crons to help boost my guy's stats for survivability. Now we're just going to do a basic. Alright, Karga's down. Fuck, we can't do the assassinate, that sucks. Fuck, I feel like we have to use the execute here. Still not enough, okay. Phoenix <laughs> down, there he goes. So I could have misplayed that bad RNG. Not the greatest example to show. Alright, so here we go. Not the greatest example again. It's not a fucking Decto, Vader, or Maul. They're fucking 5 and 7. There's no Thrawn here. But it's got the Data Chrome. Alright, let me blow some crystal. I don't want to wait 5 minutes. Let's use, I don't know, just a simple data cry, nothing crazy guys, just to give some survivability. Could use one of these, but... I think it's good enough to maybe get the win, or at least match what the other guy's doing, that's fine. And this is supposed to be the easier fight, remember there's no Thrawn in there. You take out let's say Piet, you put in Thrawn, I think it's a much better fight. So most of the time when I play this matchup right there, Maul just fucking decimates my Fennec right off the bat. I'm lucky he's Relic 5, he's not decked out Relic 8 with fucking gold mods and shit, so... If he was, usually again Fennec just gets... Fucked. Or if Fennec goes down, or Cargo goes down too soon, you're already done. Right off the bat. So that's why, again, I'm not saying this counter is reliable. It's, I would say, under 50%. Alright, so let's keep... It's a tough call, because Boba Fett's the win, but Fennec's going to die any second. Alright, let's see if we can keep Fennec alive for just a little bit. A little ability block that's fine. The stun kind of sucks. Alright, let's cleanse that shit. A little armor shred on Vader. Just doing basics. Kill Vader before uh, Maul goes again. And uh, again, that that can happen. So, yeah, you guys can say I fucked somewhere up. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Relic Five Maul shitting on me right here. I'll see if we can finish the fight. He's got 45 stacks, it's still not enough to, to one-shot. Alright, we're just keeping Bubba Fett alive. We've got ability block, so we can't do shit. All 
right, 78 stacks, pretty good. It's not 30, it's not 40, it's not 100, but can he do it? Let's see. All right, all right, he did it. Are we out of the woods? Maybe, maybe not. At best, this is what, a two shot? I kinda wanna gangbang Vader here. Let, let's get rid of that shit. Maybe another ability block, okay. I really want to get rid of Maul, so let, fuck, not enough. Yeah, it's a bit frustrating. I mean, yeah, you get through Vader, okay, so you bring in a cleanup squad. So that's like a two-shotter, right? And again, I'm not saying I play it perfect, but this wasn't Relic 8 Maul. Alright, so let's try that fight again. We'll show you guys a bit of a stronger Maul. Same Datacron. No Thrawn though. It's not the greatest example, just so you guys get a feel. Alright, let me, let me swap this one out just to show you guys. Let's say you guys don't have a really like good defensive Datacron. How do I fucking unequip it here? One sec. I want to get rid of this. There we go, sorry. So maybe you guys don't even have something that strong, I don't know. These are kind of offensive. Alright, I don't know, something like this. Not Nothing crazy on the armor. Maybe a little health, whatever. Alright, blue stacks don't crash on me, let's go. And again, I just want to re-emphasize, guys, I'm not saying you can't win, but it's not, don't count on it to reliably win. Okay, okay. Maul did not one shot my Fennec or Karga, so okay, not bad, not bad. Alright, so Baba Fett's still alive. That's good. Uh, let's get rid of these debuffs. That's annoying, we can't fucking do anything there. Maybe we can get rid of Maul. Uh, not quite. Kinda wanna just hold on to this. Alright, let's hold the execute. I'm gonna get Royal Guard out so we can go on Vader. And right there we lost. So Yeah, way she goes folks. So again, not the craziest Lord Vader squad, but as you can see it doesn't look super easy or consistent. I'll show a few more videos just to give you guys a feel, so I'm not just playing one and like trying to paint a picture. And mind you, get no Thrawn yet. So, stay tuned. Alright, so here we go. Let's try it again. I had blue stacks crash a few times on me midway through battle. Couldn't shoot the full thing. Blowing through a lot of crystal, but it's worth it for you viewers. Alright. So 
Just making sure you guys see the same bullshit datacron. Relic 7 mall, nothing crazy, but not a Relic 5. No Thrawn. But I think the better lineup, take away Piet, Thrawn in here is probably the top tier for annoyance, for going against it with Fennec. Alright, so we're just changing it up to show you a variety of uh, data crons. Maybe you guys don't have like the super defensive ones. You have kind of a hybrid, so I'm just showing you some variety. We're going to put in boss instead of Mando, which... I don't know. I, I think Mando is kind of key because you can put that damage immunity on a key piece like Fennec or, or Baba. So, we'll show you guys this variant. Personally, again, I like Mando more, but here we go. Alright. We got super lucky, or I guess unlucky there. Fennec's already gone right off the bat. So we're pretty much done for on this one, folks. Uh, I think this is the one. Yeah, the damage time protection. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's get Bosk out. Let's get Mando. Let's get his ass in there. Alright, so Maul's gonna go again and he's gonna... Oh! Wow. Maul fucked up. It's alright, it's alright. We still got... We still got our Baba. Let's just keep him alive for a little bit. Dots for now. We'll hold on to the execute. All right. If we can go through, get through Vader. Game bang Vader a little bit now. All right. Yeah, that just happened. So, it's hugely RNG, I think. Baba goes down, or Fennec goes down too early. It's really a, a struggle. Even if we get through most of this, at best, what, it's a two-shotter and Grand Arena. Let's try it again. It's supposed to win most of the time, right? Alright, so we're not using boss, we're using the same data cron, same matchup. Let's see if it goes in our favor.
Okay, so Boba Fett's still good, Fennec's still alive, those are our key players. Alright, let's keep Boba alive. Reverse card, chop, bop. If we can get through Royal Guard, that'd be nice. It's looking at a bit better, but we're not out of the woods. Vader does not have a massive amount yet. He's at 46, so this is the closest we've come. Without me trying to like sabotage the, the matches just for proving a point. Um, 46, I don't think it's enough. So we're going to stall. Wait just a little more. Bubba Fett has to survive. He's, he's pretty much it. All right, we're looking good, folks. We're looking That's good. That's fine. Take him out. Leave my Bubba alive. Bubba is the win. All right, so we got ability block. That's kind of annoying. Not strong enough to take anyone out. Ninety-two. That's a great number. I want to just keep the party going. All right. So I think this is our first win to show you guys. Let's uh, try one more. I think we'll call it a wrap. Another relic seven mall. Still no throne to show you guys, but I'm trying to be consistent. Pretty good crit damage on this one and some health steal. All right. That's not too bad. Burn another 50. All right, well this one, the last round using the same data cron. Come on guys, this wins all the time. Keep Fennec for now. Try to get an ability block. That's good. Uh, he's under stealth. The mall's gonna fucking wham bam us. Uh, decisions. He is a pain in the ass, but he's kind of low and Vader is kind of a threat, so let's get rid of Vader. Can we kill him? No, not enough. Maybe we should have done the armor shred there. I have some regrets. Oh god, Baba, no. Don't you die on me now. Just trying to get through this mall. Okay. Just gotta keep up alive, he's the wind condition. Fine, that's fine. Vader's got 98 stacks, but fucking Piet just shits on my Baba. And that's the match. I'm gonna show you guys this one. Now you can use obviously the one with armor, but usually armor for me anyways is with my with my own mall, whether it's on offense, defense. So we're gonna show you the one without the mall and just show you how that one runs. Alright, 
right, so we need Tambor, Kylo, and the Night Sister Cheese. It's not going to be pretty, you're not going to get a lot of banners, but at least gives you a chance to win it. a little extra health, some armor. Okay, these are my data crumbs. I don't have the craziest ones. So we're throwing on the worst thing on Kylo. We're just kind of stalling. All right, let's throw that on Daka. We're just basically stalling to our ultimate, really. Stun, I'll take it. It'd be nice if we can get through Royal Guard. Yeah, usually Kylo goes down from all's little five stack burst. I don't think that's enough. We got a stun pretty nice for us. Again, things are gonna look worse before they get better. We're just stalling for ultimate. We're at 57%. up a bit. Alright, 89%. Uh, take a little gamble on Maul, not enough. Alright, we're just chilling. Alright, Maul's got five stacks. We got ultimate, alright, here we go. Big AoE. Alright, so we get to dodge all that nastiness, because we waited to the 100% mark. Another big AoE. They're starting to fall apart. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad. Let's just get rid of Royal Guard. And you guys might be asking, why does this counter work? Or how does it even work? The fact that the Tambor Tech you know, constantly gives you protection, heals you up a bit. You just gotta time it right for Vader's little protection shit to wear off and you kinda one-shot him. And plus you don't have any of your allies left alive so you can't be getting 30, 40 stacks or you know, every one or two waves of his bullshit. Probably should have done my ultimate there with a little bit of a fuck up. No stacks for you, Vader. Get the fuck out. Alright, guys. So, that was my first try at it. Again, I'm not saying that you can't use other counters, but when your back's against the wall, you need a win. You're going to go for the 
prayer and a dive to the orangey gods and hope Fennec bails your ass out and that's your whole grand arena or you just fucking say fuck it I'm gonna try the sure thing so that's my point anyways thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it I'll try to throw in in between if I can find a Vader with Thrawn and Maul that'd be ideal but I get I hope you guys get the point of this video so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and take care folks stay frosty Thanks for watching guys. Yes, I wasn't able to find a Thrawn, but I, I didn't do my best to show the higher tier Lord Vader just to give you guys a sense of what to expect. And thanks again everyone for watching.